It is time for Retro Stone Portable System Review. Before we are starting this review, I want to point out they send me this one as a sample, but it doesn't influence my personal opinion about the product. So now we have this out of the way, we can start the review. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video I am excited because I have an awesome product to show you all. So in today's video we're going to check out this Retro Stone. This is a multi-platform, Pi-based Game Boy. Um, yeah, like the Game Boy Pi, something like that, only they made something very special. I uh, wouldn't say it's magic, but I think it's magic. And um, yeah, let's start about the box itself. I really love the presentation of this product. It comes in this really nice box with some basic explanation what you can do with it. As you can see here, we can use it like a portable system or we can just use it like a console. But that's something I'm going to explain to you a little bit later. When you're opening this box, together we're going to unbox it. It comes with a, I would not say basic, it's a nice manual. Um, you can more find more information about how to install it because it doesn't come with any operating system or games. You need to install it all yourself. I will try to make a tutorial about it, so to explain how it works. So, enough about the manual. Let's take a close look at the Game Boy. I'm just calling this thing a Game Boy because it looks like a Game Boy. All right, let's take a close look at the system itself. First. Let's remove this. I'm noticing that this thing feels quite heavy. Not too heavy, but I really love it because it gives more like a quality feeling. So what are we going to get with the system? Let's do a little bit of an overview. And maybe you've noticed here at the back we can find the specifications of the system. I must say in 4 core CPU, even got some 1 gigabyte RAM. The battery is in 3000 milliamp, so that is pretty big. And we got a 3.5 inch LCD screen, so not bad at all. The D-pad itself got a very long travel if you compare it with other systems because most of the system are very stiff D-pad and this one is very loose. So if you take a close look at the select and the start button, both got this rubber compound. I really love it, like the old Game Boys. And here at the right we're finding four buttons. And these got a very nice response. But we also have four buttons here at the back. And also these have a very nice response. We are finding a mono speaker and I can tell you already it's pretty damn loud. At the right side of the portable system we are finding some buttons for adjustment for the screen and an HDMI out. On the top of the portable system we are finding Ethernet port, 4 USB and one power switch. The USB connectors are just simply for yeah, using for transferring files or adding your controllers. At the left side we are finding the CF slot and a micro USB for charging. And at the bottom, like the original Game Boy, we are finding a jack for headphones and a volume scrolling wheel. And the system is running on the Retro Orange Pie. I must say, the view angle is good, but you can pair it a little bit with the basic systems. I don't think this screen is EPS and it is not that great and vibrant. As you can see here, we have a big support of systems, so you can add a lot of variation of games to it. And you can make this one your ultimate portable machine. There are a couple of versions of Orange Pie. We have the basics version that is slim and compact and have nothing to it. We have some custom versions. Uh, I will all discuss it in the tutorials. But let's do some gameplay and let's see how it's running.
So for the final conclusion about the Retro Throne, I really love what they did with this portable device. But yeah, keep in mind it comes without operation system and game, so you need to have some little bit of knowledge how to add these programs and games. The D-pad is something I really needed to get used to. I'm missing out analog stick, so this will give you some limitations and yeah, some games you cannot play. I really like to point out the little mono speaker that's inside this portable machine. It's pretty damn loud and I think that is really awesome. And overall, I really love the Retro Stone. I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. It's not very cheap, but for the money, I think we can't complain. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell and see you next time.